Well, what's up guys? So it's Mark from One Day at Time Farmstead. It's even time here at One Day at Time Farmstead. We just went and got our even eggs. What's up big boy? Hey Nana. What's going on Molly? So before the rain came in guys we uh we got all the scrap off the property today uh, so we did that oh no 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 y'all got to stay in there for right now might let y'all run tomorrow get y'all some more bugs and stuff Grass is really starting to turn green now, which is good. There's some chickens out there moving around. So it's really kind of wet now. Um. Whoa, slippery too. So guys, you can see the beginning of our pond in the previous video. I showed y'all digging it with the tractor, the Kubota. Um, we're getting it done. It's just it's taking some time, you know. So we did get all the scrap metal removed. All this is cleaned up. I trimmed some trees up. Got the pole saw out, put a new chain on it, got it running. So, we got a steel weeder pole saw. So, anyway, guys, you can see it, it filled up. So, it's probably going to be totally full this weekend because we got more rain coming. So, all this where you see all this dirt will be. Like dug out up to here. It's gonna shoot back around. All that will be dug out on that's gonna be our pond. We'll put a levee back there with an overflow. So that's all gonna be our pond. So we got a good bit dug on it. So I'm hoping that uh, you know, I can keep digging on it. I don't know how long it's going to take. I can't say. I don't want to say. <laughs> it's a lot of digging with a tractor, you know. So with that right there, I mean, I had the tractor in there pretty good up to. And over there, the tractor's up to the seat. So that's four or five feet deep, I guess. Then over there, same thing. So I'm just planning on keep on cutting it back, you know. Um, so some of the mud that's coming out here right now, my neighbor's getting it. He's he's using it to fill some holes on his place, and he's got a couple bridges that washed out, so he's uh, fixing all that up. But yeah, guys, we're gonna get all this cleaned up. Take a chainsaw to some of these ponds right there. That one, that one, that little tree right there. So kind of do like a so come through there i don't know we might try to just leave this big one have an island here too like the you know, island right there island right here we all water around it <laughs> oh, my babies they follow me around that's the newest rescue that's called stubby stubby because he has no tail so we call him stubby that's california what we call Cali Girl for California short. That's Itsy. I think that's Mama Kitty. There comes Scrappy. What's up, Scrappy?
I went from having no cats to, I don't know, rescued a bunch of them. It's all good. They all love me. Yeah. You're a little wet, Scrappy. You didn't go get in your house? He never gets in the house when it's raining. He likes playing in it. I don't know why, but it's one of the BK brothers. It's one of my girls. She just don't want to be, oh, this Goldie. I call her Blackie, Goldie and Blackie. Uh, that's the four amigos that are escape artists that love to come out and, I don't know, they just go in a coop when they want to and fly out when they want, so I'll just leave them alone. I think it's kind of cool. It don't look like much, guys, but it's starting to shape up. I mean, you know, if I had a big excavator, it'd probably be done, but I don't. It probably won't for a while. So, I might go get the pump running and try to keep it pumped down, though. Might be the best thing to do, keep it pumped down so it don't get too, too saturated. All right, guys, well, I hope everybody has a good one. It is the weekend, and uh, I was really hoping it wouldn't rain so I get some more done. But at least we got all that scrap. It was two loads in a dump trailer. We took it, took it to uh, to get rid of it. Thanks for my neighbor. He really helped me out on that. So. We're just gonna keep working this thing until we get catfish in it and bass and brim and sunfish, whatever you, whatever we uh, wanna raise, right? I'm doing right now I'm breaking this little levee that we had divide in two ponds before it rains I'm trying to keep the water over there so just got my hacker shovel and, uh, I know some people out there probably, man, that's a lot of work doing that at your pond by yourself with a tractor and shovel. Yeah, but one day I'll be done. When I'm dead and gone, somebody like, man, look at that pond right there. I wonder how that was dug. And there'll be somebody down the road who said, oh boy, Mark dug that pond by hand over there with a shovel and a tractor. Check out the videos on YouTube of it. <laughs> oh man. Look at that guys, how peaceful that is. Look at that. Isn't that peaceful? Uh, 
Uh oh. Right, my pump just come out of the water. I ain't got my hand with me today. He's playing video games. Man, them video games ruin them boys nowadays. I didn't have that when I was growing up. I had shovels and rakes and tractors and four wheels. That's what I had. Oh, I'm gonna have to work my way over there. Oh. Man, no, it's slippery too. So this is gonna be the little island. Where we're gonna build a bridge across here into the other pond. It's gonna be one pond, but it's gonna be like a hop. You know? So. Rain really made it a mess. It's slippery. You gotta be careful in here. I don't know if I'm gonna get that tractor in here today. Probably not. This four wheel drive, but I don't think it's gonna handle that. I can barely walk. I can barely walk up in here, so I don't know. I could give it a day or two to dry out, I guess. I gotta get my pump. I gotta get my suction to get back down in there and stay down. Got that levee over there broke. It's coming on through. So it should dry off. It's, it, it's dropping it. It done dropped it a good bit. So once I get it all pumped down, you know, then I can take and uh, get all that back together. So, hey, Angel. What you doing, girl? Hey, everybody. That's the Angel. What you doing? What you doing? Did you run off? You better stay in the yard. You know your yard now. So Angel's a rescue. For anybody that don't know, Angel and uh, Ginger is a rescue. And uh, she's just, she's one of ours now. You know? She, um, she's pretty much hangs around us all the time now, so. And uh, her and Dozer gets along, plays good out in the yard. So, but, look how pretty that is. Might get ready to cut this grass again. Gotta dry up again, though. So, well, let me kill the old pump and we'll uh, get that resituated. I gotta get a. I'm gonna try to get a log or something, put on that, weigh it down. Then I have to get back over there at my shovel, finish cutting that little trench through there, and um, get it pumped down, dry it out, let the sun dry it. So that's what we'll do. It looks like it's coming here pretty good. I managed to get the carburetor clean on the pump. It took me about three times, four times. Apparently, I got some carburetor cleaner. I took it apart and took that bowl off of there. But I had some throttle body cleaner and air intake cleaner. It, it's all the same. You know, it worked. <laughs> that's what I had in the shop, so that's what I grabbed. So, you guys out there at these little farms and stuff, you know how it is. Sometimes you live you know 35 minutes from the auto port store or, or whatever you know and you're just like man whatever i got i'm going to use it and that's what i do out here it's, sometimes i just don't feel like going you know so i find whatever i can so it looks like it's draining pretty good
Yeah, like I said, one day, grandkids or somebody be out here fishing, catching a 10 pound bass out of here, or five pound catfish or whatever. Who knows, I might not be around. They might be like, man, I wonder how this pond got dug. Old boy Mark. An old shovel and a There's something about water, y'all. It just soothes your soul. Listen to it, watch it. Watch it do it. It's a natural thing. Yeah. Kind of scooting down this wall right now because I don't want to fall off in there. I don't. I mean, I would buy me. I fell off and stuff before. Yeah, it's getting there, ain't it? Pretty deep, huh? I like to get it, at least in this area, about eight or nine feet deep. You want your fish to better get down and get, if it's hot, you know, get in the hole. Or if it's cold. I hope I inspire somebody today to dig their own little fishing pond to do something. You know. Enjoy your property. Just enjoy what God gave you. That's all we can do, right? Guys, we appreciate y'all just watching our crazy content, you know. This stuff that we're doing around here and I mean this pine may be a I don't know year project looks of it I mean, if I can get on it and stay digging and probably do it in a few weeks but I gotta stop every now and again and you know let things do what they do so So you can see how high I'm up, how deep it is. So this level would be would be back there because it falls, it falls down. So my levee would probably be you know three or four foot coming around, you know, and it will make it at least five foot wide on top, and it's gonna have to go out you know five ten feet with a slope, hold that water back. All right, I'm gonna crank the pump up again. Guys, we uh we do appreciate y'all watching our videos and liking us and becoming subscribers to our channel. So I'm just gonna crank the pump up and pump it down and let it dry out. I'm not gonna get the tractor in here today as much as I want to. Uh, I know I better not because I don't want to sink it and then have to get two neighbors over here at two big tractors and get it out and all that. So probably grab the weed or go clean some fence lines and uh. Grab the pole saw, trim some trees. So we thank y'all. Thanks for doing life with us one day at a time. Mark, Gene, and Dallas, and all our all our babies over here, the goats, chickens, and 
that's everything we have. We appreciate y'all watching. And uh, hit that like button. Share us out. Tell your friends about us. Tell us, you know, get them subscribed to us. We sure do appreciate it. Thank y'all so much.